Hello, TBC fans. Welcome to this video. Today, I will show you how to prepare and publish an SX10 dataset from TBC to Trimble Clarity. If you are new to the name Trimble Clarity, it is a web-based application that enables you to easily share rich geospatial data and 3D models with your colleagues and clients. With Clarity, stakeholders can view and validate the project online, reduce the risk of misunderstandings, and make decisions effectively. There are different ways to prepare and upload geospatial data to Clarity. This video will focus on the workflow from TBC to Clarity. Let's start with a typical SX10 dataset. Several SX10 stations were set up on both ends of the crossover to observe a highway segment. I will clean up the point cloud so the heavy traffic does not show in the deliverable. A point re cloud region called Ghosting was created to host the points from passing vehicles. The procedure is not complete yet. I can turn off the automatically classified ground region and let the vehicles pop up. Now it's much easier to select those vehicle points. I can now add them to the ghosting region. The highway is quiet now. I would also colorize my point cloud so they can look photo-like in clarity. To get good colorization result, I will process the panoramas first so TBC can balance the exposure of all images and blend the edges of adjoining images. Go to the point clouds tab Open Process Panoramas command. The first icon will select all the stations and balance the exposure. The second one will blend the edges for all stations. Click Process. Panoramas are improved, it's time to colorize. From the same tab, pick Colorize Scans. Use the top icon to select all the stations, then Process. Let's verify the colorization result. Change the rendering method to True Color. You will notice some unnatural red color appeared to the south half of the dataset because the SX10 was looking at the sun directly and those shots were taken with strong backlighting. But at the same time, the crossover bridge and the majority of the highway are not impacted. Besides point clouds, we can publish points and line work to clarity as well. In this dataset, the surveyor collected feature-coded points with the SX10. We can process the feature codes and unveil the line work. The roundabout and the islands are now recognizable. This dataset is ready for clarity. I will make a final sanity check to ensure the visibility of all the data. For example, the ghosting region should be off and all scans should be on. I would also choose to only show feature symbols so individual survey points will not be selectable. Next, go to Point Clouds, Publish to Clarity. 
This command requires a valid Trimble ID. If you do not have one yet, you may create a free account on the fly. Type in a proper project name. This dataset was collected near a town called Weibiesbrunn, Germany. I will follow that name. For objects to publish, I would make a graphic selection in the plan view using the Polygon Select tool. Notice that all the SX10 photo stations are included automatically as well. Now hit Publish. The Process View window will prompt, indicating the publishing has started. Once you see the process view, you may return to the dataset and continue with other data processing or analyzing tasks. For example, I can continue creating points and lines, and those activities would not affect the data publishing. At this stage, you may even close the current project, open a different one, or even exit TBC entirely. The process will continue on the backstage. When you relaunch TBC and open any project, you can now hit F12 on your keyboard to open the command pane, then search for Process View to reopen the window. It's ready for viewing in Clarity. Click on the button. TBC will launch Clarity in your default web browser. For the best performance, we recommend Chrome and Firefox. Datasets are marked with pins in Clarity. You can fly to them in two ways. Either click on one of the files from the bottom section, or spin the globe, then click on the pin. The point cloud is located correctly but due to the different terrain models Clarity is using with, from TBC, point clouds may not match with the terrain very well. Depending on your location, the dataset may float above or fall under the terrain. Also, in the latest Clarity version, it supports the station view from Trimble State SX10 and X7. Click on the instrument icon, you would open the station view, and are able to synchronize the station view with the point cloud. Here are the feature lines we created in TBC. To share this view to your clients, go to the menu, Data Manager, Share View. Simply pass this URL or email the link to your clients. Then they will be able to look at the same data sets from their web browser. No sign-in is required and no extra software installation. To a sharing world, thank you for watching.